Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Vlogmas. If you're new here, my name is Mikey. Hi, hello, welcome. Thank you guys so much for being here. In today's Vlogmas, we actually have a guest. My good friend Holly is here, and it's gonna be kind of like a day in the life of a foodie influencer. She's gonna use my kitchen today to cook about seven dishes. It's crazy, seven dishes. And they're all gonna be seafood related, so if you guys have like a holiday party and you're hosting, or maybe a potluck, this might give you guys some good ideas to bring. I'm gonna wait for this plane to pass by, but let me grab the menu so I can tell you guys what it's gonna be. She has an open face sardine sandwiches. Sardines, mm, I know that's a little bit iffy for some people, but sounds delicious to me. And then also she has a crab toast. She's gonna make a smoky shrimp scampi, seared scallops with broiled romaine, a steamed mussels with miso mayonnaise dish, a reverse risotto with anchovy and chilies. Ooh, that sounds interesting. And then a linguine with clams. Mmm, it sounds so good. The house is gonna eat so good today. But she's here now, she's prepping and everything, so I'm just gonna finish getting ready, and then I'm gonna also be her sous chef today. So yeah, I'm excited. Sounds delicious. All right, let's go check in with her. It's a content creation house today. We have Simon pouring the champs. <laughs> he's starting a bartending channel. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Just kidding, he's not, but he's our resident bartender. <laughs> Mimosas. We got Holly over here. Hi. She's getting back on YouTube. I'll link her channel down below. I'm gonna try. This is all of her ingredients for her seven recipes today. Yeah. Feast so, of the seven fishes. Feast of the seven fishes. And I'm gonna be her sous chef. All right guys, so I'm the sous chef. So I'm gonna help Holly with making a dressing for this tangy tuna sandwich. No, no we're doing the sardine. The sardine. So basically the recipe is for the tuna sandwich, but then you can substitute for sardine. Mm -hmm. Cool. So I'm gonna start with the dressing. Just chop stuff. I'm only chopping today, okay? And mixing. This, yeah. The book is How to Cook Everything Fast. How to Cook Everything Fast by Mark Bittman. Okay guys, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do a quick QA with Miss Holly Haynes. And my first question to her is, how did you get into the whole food influencer scene? For those who want to maybe start a food vlog, Instagram, or etc. I started vlogging. No, that's a lie because I've not vlogged. I started vlogging. With a B. With a B. Okay. Back in. <laughs> the early 2000s. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell our age. <laughs> Mostly because I was hungry <laughs> and trying to recreate foods that I had had at restaurants at home. And I started putting that on Instagram and people started asking me for recipes and I was like, okay, I guess I'll write it down. So I started from my impossibly tiny kitchen because my kitchen at the time was five feet by eight feet. <laughs> I have pictures. I'll insert a picture because I did okay. some, some photos of her there. I'll, I'll put it right here. Tiny. Yeah. Impossibly tiny. And I made miracles work out of that kitchen. So that was my first vlog. And then I tried starting a YouTube channel and that was a lot of work. So I stopped. <laughs> but and she's coming back. <laughs> I'm coming back though. I'm on my way. I'm on my way back. Mikey is mm -hmm. uh, making me come back. So then I went to the Instagram room and became a micro blogger, as I like to call it. And that took me to some interesting places. I was on a, a, a TV show called Food Fighters on NBC. Yeah. I wrote a cookbook called How to Eat Your Feelings. And she won that TV oh, yeah, show. I won. I won some money. That oh. money is gone. <laughs> uh, but off of a like, microwavable cake, right? Yeah, I made $20,000 off yeah. of cake. I made the microwave. <laughs> I'll link it down below, guys. I've had some interesting opportunities um, from just 
pursuing my passion and what I enjoy doing. All right, guys, before we get into another q and I'm gonna show you guys my secret to Lay's potato chips. Literally, if you want french fries, open a bag of Lay's. Secret ingredient. Ketchup. Honestly, my roommates think I'm weird, but ketchup and Lay's. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, I have to try this. Mm. <laughs> Just try it. And you can be honest. If I'm crazy, I'm crazy, but... You put so much little, like, little. You need to put more? No, I mean, was it good? <laughs> it's giving... French fries? <laughs> the crunchy French fry at the bottom of the bag. Like, the end of the French fry. Okay. Like See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a... Yeah, okay, wait, you have to come here. Crunchy edge. So I don't have to move the camera. Crunchy edge of a french fry. Like yeah. crunchy edge. Can I ask how you like came across this? Like I don't even know. Was it a sativa? I think it was... No. I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the crumbs. And then I just kind of put it in a Is ketchup. Is or more? A little more. Just a little. Like this. Yeah. Oh, you have a good crunch. Okay. Not bad. Okay, try another. It's like... Just try another. Yeah, it's totally the crunchy, end of, a the crunchy end of a french fry. Specifically a McDonald's french fry. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Not bad, right? I'm telling you guys, try it. Honestly, try it. Alright, I get it. Mmm. It feels like a complete meal. <laughs> I mean, it's a vegetable. Uh, it's basically it a salad. See? With tomato paste. We should. Okay, I have another question, Holly. Have you ever thought about going to culinary school? I would go to culinary school for fun. I wouldn't necessarily do it to advance my career in any way. I have no desire to own a restaurant or work in the culinary industry as far as feeding people directly. To just personally advance my own skill set. Yes, I'd go to culinary school. Yeah, and I feel like too, it would even be more advantageous to just like take cooking classes when you travel, right? Right. Because you're getting all these different flavors and learning things new. Where, where culinary school, I feel like, is more technique to work in a restaurant. Right. Versus actually just doing your own thing. I took a cooking class in Bali when I was there. I was at a farm, so two of my most favorite things. I would rather take specific classes for, you know, like I took a macaroon class at <laughs> Sir Hotel mm -mm. versus going to the culinary school baking track. Yeah. Like I just, I, I'm pretty good at teaching myself yeah. things off of the internet and using the YouTubes. But for what I do, it is not necessary. My, I just share what I love and my passion. And, yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right guys, so we're gonna do a little quick fire moment. We have Simon over here next to me and he's gonna do some quick fire questions to Holly and we're gonna start now. All right, Holly, which do you enjoy more, baking or cooking? Ooh, ooh, baking because it feels more like science. In a multiverse, what do you see yourself doing other than cooking? Farming. Ooh, how would you describe your brand? Aspirational yet attainable. Cook in a fully equipped kitchen or cook in nature with essentials? Fully equipped. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't rough it. <laughs> Sugar and spice or everything nice? Sugar and spice. Fly in space or deep dive underwater? Neither kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Greatest cooking invention? Five, four. Nice. Two, mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> What's the most popular recipe re request from your viewers? Uh, oxtail. Anything with oxtail. Mm. Okay, really I have nice. one real quick too. Favorite restaurant in San Diego? Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> we got her! <laughs> we got her! Especially for a cook. Yeah, 
got the yeah. genre. Ooh, that's I'm a good like, one. you gotta give me genre. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite burger, favorite. Oh, favorite okay. 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 Favorite, right? oh we got your burger. All right, we'll be back for a second session. Yeah. We have the, what's this risotto? That is the spicy anchovy Reversed. risotto. Uh, that's linguine and clams, sardine toast, smoky shrimp scampi, gallops and broiled romaine hearts. That is uh, steamed mussels with miso mayo and crab toast. She did that. I did that. You what helped. the fuck? You helped. What the that. fuck? You chopped. I chopped. I chopped. But wow, that is a gorgeous little spread. All right guys, we have a spread here that is amazing. And we're just gonna do our last little quick Q&A with Miss Holly. All right, take it away, Simon. Ready? OnlyFans kind of gal or Pornhub? Oh, Pornhub. Ooh, have dinner with Kim K or Kanye West? Neither. <laughs> okay. Making love to the sounds of the 80s or 2000s. 80s. Ooh. <laughs> Take an ice cold bath or walk on hot coals. Hot coals. What? Yeah. Quick, quickly. Okay. Botox on the face or cute in the waist? Botox. Mm. Have you been naughty or nice this year? Nice. Oh. 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 Have you? Well, I don't know. I'm okay, questionable, questionable. I think my therapist would say nice. <laughs> <laughs> In one word, how would you describe this year? Fuck. <laughs> mm. like Last that. question. What are you looking forward to next year? Good one. Um, being in a new space. <gasps> I just yes. moved, so um, organizing it in a way that makes me happy and Great. um. Self-care and self-life. Self cool. <laughs> Leaning into it. Love it. Yeah. Um, thank you. Because well, thank I love you. you. <laughs> thank you so much, Holly. So Honestly, welcome. this is like, who gets to do this? Thank you, love you. And whenever you need a kitchen and people to eat, we're always here. I just didn't want to do the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> and that too. <laughs> we will gladly do the dishes. All right, bon appetit. Mm. Crab bite again. I'm sorry, I'm Crap bite. <laughs> I have to block your face because it will. Mmm. <laughs> mm. It's good. That's fine. Mmm. Mmm. I need a picture of that. Mmm. Mmm. This is actually, this is probably mm. the one I'm super excited to try. The mussels? Because the, the miso paste. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh! All the muscles! Oh my god. Oh my god, the muscles are great. And we've been craving muscles, I told you. Mm -hmm. When you put muscles on the menu, I said, mm, we have been craving a muscle dish. So what are we trying next? So what are we trying? The scallops? Yeah. I'm gonna try scallops. <gasps> Look at this freaking scallop. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try it with the romaine. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, mm -hmm. even that by itself. Mm -hmm. The broiled romaine, it's like bok choy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is weird because you don't think about romaine as a cook. Cook, like, cook yeah. lettuce. Mm -hmm. Right. But if you just broil it real quick. That's a vibe. I'm a fan. Heavenly How about you? <laughs> Cheers. Thank you, Holly. Mm. Oh, mm. oh, that's good. When the anchovy hits? When the spice hits. Holy shit. And then it gets a little spicy? Mm. 
Cry. That's fantastic. Okay, Mark Bittman. That's delicious. Fantastic. Oh yeah, tell them where this um, recipe so is. So all of these um, recipes are from Mark Bittman's latest book. It's called um, How to Cook Everything Fast. And it's honestly, as a recipe developer, it's hard for me to cook for myself outside of developing recipes for other people. So that book is like my go-to when I don't know what to eat. I flip through. I'm like, I know I want shrimp with shrimp dish. And it's, I know it's gonna be done in less than 30 minutes. So. We made these seven dishes in about three hours, which is not bad for seven whole dishes. For seven dishes. crazy dishes. Yeah. So yeah, I like this result. And it's like, that cookbook is not intimidating. Mm -mm. Literally. Easy to follow. Yeah. Wow, I'm so impressed. Oh, that's sure. good. Simon, you're good. He's <laughs> so quiet. Can you show your finger? Simon Aww. cut his finger <laughs> and we put blue. Painter's tape <laughs> and gods. All right, we're gonna wrap up here and eat. Make sure you guys go follow Holly. All my five subscribers now. It used to be three. Now there's legit five of you guys. Nice. Um, she's gonna start her YouTube again, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna do a lot of collabs, mukbangs, cooking stuff. She just moved, so she has some moving content coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you again so much, Holly. This is amazing. Thank you. This was fun. Thank you for letting Husband's you. happy, roommates are happy. Thanks for letting me use your kitchen. Anytime. Bye. I forgot to do an outro, but as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you can, try to choose happy over sad today, and I'll catch you in the next Vlogmas.